Now, Made in Chelsea's Ollie and Gareth Locke are here, and this weekend they're on the run in the new series of Celebrity Hunted. <laughs> Ollie and Gareth join me now. It's very good to see you. Now, there you are, you're on the run. Um, and you go in a car like that, which is fairly people this, pointing was... at you going, oh, hello, I know that car. Yep. <laughs> it was a surprise to me. I Thinking literally got back there. now. It might have been a mistake. Yes. It was the worst bright yellow car <laughs> going through the centre of London. And then we got stuck in traffic. And then obviously everyone's like seeing the car. And of like course. Taking photos. And then they see we're in it with a, like a camera crew. Yeah. And then it just gets worse and worse and worse. Uh -huh. So we're stuck in the middle of Victoria and couldn't uh -huh. get in. <laughs> I honestly thought we were going to get caught. Well, now we'll find out what happens to both of you. Mm. But this was your honeymoon. This was. So, well, when we got approached to do it, I went, you know, this is fabulous. I was like, this is something that Gareth and I could do on television together. Exactly. Um, it's really important. It's a lovely thing. Um, but we hadn't had a honeymoon because it was mid-COVID. And so we went, OK, well, let's make the most of it. Let's go to some fabulous locations around Britain and really make the most of time together. And how did that work out? It, you know what? <laughs> Not bad. Good. We had, we had a wonderful time. We had a wonderful time. I really did. I spent all the money, all the budget on wine. Oh God! Good man. Um, you're, Which you're as should. Um, but it was great, and we really enjoyed it. It was quite a challenge. It was. Did you fall no. out? No, I don't see you two falling out. No, we're quite. We're with each other quite a lot anyway. Of so we're yeah. quite symbiotic, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your wedding was lovely, and one of the most watched weddings. In fact, the most watched wedding of 2020. Wasn't Worldwide. It? Worldwide. Yeah. Luke. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Which, I mean, it was in, the in natural my natural history museum. Well, that was it. It was on my ride where I had to get married under a blue whale <laughs> over the wallflower. <laughs> That was just, it was just what happened to happen. Well, why not? Why not? Was it, was it very special? It was incredible. Did you feel that it was like... We, we'd been engaged for two and a half years, and I think by that point, because obviously with Covid, we couldn't have many guests there, but I think by that point, we're just like, it's just about the two of us and we wanted to get married. And that was, it was insanely beautiful, and to do it in those surroundings with the oh. decadence and the kind of the madness. The candles, and it was, all, it was just so lovely and romantic. It was, it was fabulous. Um, yeah, and so it was lovely that so many people got to see a wedding at the end of a Covid horrid moment. Exactly, because we needed that. But you are Ollie and Gareth Lock Lock. Yeah. Yes. yes. You're yes. double um, bad. We do, but mean, the same name. That would be like me being name. Smith Smith. Yes, but we have we both <laughs> had the same name when we got married. <laughs> But we did find, I found it entertaining that one day they can say it's the Lock Lock. So I just said, so it was like Lock Lock, <clears throat> who's there? I just thought it was something made me laugh about it. And I went, every time I think about double barreling it, it made that. me giggle. So it oh did. my goodness. It was just something a bit it. ridiculous, wasn't it? That was it? fantastic. <laughs> now, look, I know you two want to start a family together. Yes. Uh, you have been trying. It doesn't always happen the first time. I know you're using um, a surrogate. Are you still wanting to? Is that very much part of your plan in the future? It is our main yep. and is it? full focus. Oh, yeah, if it, you're ready, you're ready for that to happen. Oh, incredibly ready. And you know, all the knockbacks and stuff, it just ma really makes you f understand that you are ready for it. It's difficult, isn't it? I think people don't realise sometimes that it just doesn't happen. Yeah. You know, right away, right away, but eventually. You know, say it. it is. It's amazing that we are now part of a community where so many people are talking about not only miscarriages, but um, IVF and all yeah. that kind of stuff. We've lost five embryos in the last year. Oh, love. And it's been, we've had to go to Cyprus, go to Mexico, through America, from someone from Brazil. And it's gone, it's, it's been hard and very expensive, but we have to go through that. And it's just shown that people are in this, we're all together. Yeah, you've had a lot of support, mm. haven't you? You've had a great deal of support, which you need, because that's really emotional. For both of you, you know, yeah, putting yourselves through emotional. that. It's, it, it really is, because the expectation and, and all of that, and then... It, is, it was the idea also to put it on camera that we decided to put everything from literally having a sperm and an egg, if you will, right. um, literally making an embryo right. to what will be the end. Sure. Um, and there are ups and downs of it. And luckily we have a position where we're on a show every Monday night um, and that going along the journey with everyone. And, and I think Made in Chelsea audience from me being straight back in the day to sexuality to have babies to get married. It's a big, fabulous journey. We have journey. followed you, haven't we? Because it's, I mean, I, I was quite shocked to realise it's 11 years. <laughs> it doesn't feel like 11 years, does it? I guess it doesn't to you. I mean, it's gone by in a flash. Yeah, well, that, that's the worry because I, I sort of have to make sure. I, I grew the hair back because I think I'm trying to bring back my youth. <laughs> <laughs> kind of one of those <laughs> things. Oh, I'm still 23. Lovely. I'm not. <laughs> Um, but you have to feel like that sometimes. You do. <laughs> yeah. And for you, Gareth, how is it in this crazy world? It's great fun. Um, yeah. You know, it's a unique opportunity to do something. And as Oz was saying, like the stuff we get to talk about, you know, you've got a platform like that and it really is important just to sort of share everything, get the conversation going with all those things. So, you know, I, from, you know, from surrogacy to I'm an ambassador for Alzheimer's Society because my mum has Alzheimer's, uh, all of these things, um, you, you've got this opportunity to, you know, 
help people. You absolutely have. And, and as you say, to talk about things that sometimes we... And that's what we try to do in this show all the time, you know, yeah. talk about things, break down barriers, taboos and all of that, because yeah. it's really important. And people have to see... You know, there's lots of people sitting at home that will see you two and think, oh, they're going through that, they're doing that. Actually, so could I. And that's important, because yeah. you probably... Well, maybe you did growing up, because you're an awful lot younger, so maybe you did have role models that you could look up to. And certainly role models. I mean, yeah. I mean, Ian McKellen was a big one, and Peter Tatchell, all these kind of yeah, people that kind yeah, of, of in the LGBT community that was, that was such a, an important... They, they are literally... We were standing on the shoulders of giants. Yeah. Um, which was what they were. And I mean, Ian McKellen came out of the 80s on radio. It was like, that was a big deal. I remember that. I remembered yeah. it vividly. Mm. And it was still back then, everybody went, oh! <laughs> yeah, it was. It's nuts to think about that mm. now, isn't it? Though, Completely how mad. Things have changed so, so much. But look, Made in Chelsea goes along. It's not going anywhere for the both of you. Yeah. That's very much part of it. But also, we will see your whole journey. And journey's a funny old <laughs> word, isn't it? But we will see that. And yes. I really hope it works out for you. I promise you, I we really will continue do. putting it on camera and. and yeah. And we're always open for DMs and stuff for people. It'll be absolutely if they have a, fine. It'll yeah. be great. It's so good to see you. It yeah. really is, both of you. I have known you for quite a long time now, I know. so it's quite nice. I know, it's <laughs> great. Well, good luck with everything that you're doing. Thank you so and much. And, of course, Celebrity Hunted starts Sunday, doesn't it? Yes. Sunday, Sunday, 9, 9, 9 o'clock yeah. on Channel 4. It is four. very funny. And we're delighted. It's hilarious. Do you know what I thought was hilarious? How many pet names have you got for one another? I, it's because I always forget his name, that's why. Yeah, that's, is I, it? I just call him about 20 different things. Squirrel, there's Bubba. squidge, yeah. Bubba. Yeah. Pigeon. A pigeon, squirrel. squirrel. I don't know why. Did I, I hear Penguin, penguin. I call him Penguin. penguin. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know why. It's just, I just a thing. I, I, I'm one of those people that just calls people things. Just in case they didn't know we're gay, we just wanted to really say oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shouting Penguin down Oxford Street. Bizarre. That's probably what got us caught. Probably was. Are you shouting Penguin? Well, you have to see. Or not. We shall. I'll be watching. Thank you both. Thank you Great for to me. see you. Absolutely. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.